After being on America East for quite some time, America East SAC, um, how do you think America East SAC has, you know, made a priority for mental health and mental wellness? Um, I think every year, like, as part of our conference, like, we put such a focus on mental health, which I think is really important. Like, every year we always have our Better Together initiative. Um, and planning those initiatives, like, is just, like, so much fun to be a part of. Like, our conf summer conference last year, like, we were just, like, banging out ideas, like, um, and it's nice to be a part of a group that is so passionate about mental health. And I think that's why our initiatives around mental health is so um, fun and so impactful is because everyone really cares. And I think like AESAC has continued to remain focused because of everyone's dedication to mental health, especially within athletics. Oh my gosh. Yeah. I mean, that was one of the first impressions that I got, um, sitting on the on the summer meeting last year you know i came from a, a a different conference that had its own issues that we focused on and whatnot mostly like community service things so i'm sitting in this meeting and i hear all of this outpour of like mental health mental wellness you know like what are we going to do how are we going to implement on an actual level how are we going to increase buy-in how like actual a action and plans mm -hmm. <laughs> that that were happening and that have trickled down into each one of our campuses and in talking to you guys has been so amazing because you, you guys have been so welcoming to um to learning how spread respect works and and how we can implement it on our campus next year you know hopefully mm -hmm. we get that <laughs> get those things happening um but it is so wonderful to be a part of a group that is so passionate about mental health and, and actually wants to take the steps, take the hard mm -hmm. step and figure out how to put things in action. Not, not just say words and not just put up nice Instagram stories or um, uh, not just, you know, saying the things we're, we're doing it and we're doing it for our families at, uh, at our institution. So yeah. it's cool. It is so cool to be a part of it. I got to say that. <laughs> yeah. I'll, my first summer conference that I went to, I think, it was two years ago, we came up with a plan in like 20 minutes, like we were just rolling off ideas. And I literally sat there like, Oh, my God, we just did that. Like, we really just came up with a whole plan, like in 20 minutes. And we all just sat there staring at each other like, Oh, my gosh, we really just did that. And what, so do, like, you, it's just, and what do you think that is that is that like, just the kinds of people that we have in America East SAC? Or is that just, you know, what the conference expects from us from like Kate? In, in, like from administration we're we're really you know leading the NCAA paving the way in the NCAA for for those kinds of things so what I mean you've been in America East longer than me so <laughs> I think it's definitely just the people like we have America East reps like all than you that are just so passionate about it and like I think like it's the people like that are on America East that are making that change. And I think to make that change, we have to be passionate about it. And I think we just have a really good group of people right now that are ready to make a change. Oh, for sure. Yeah. No, they're super cool. They're, we're, I think we're fun. I think we're a fun group. <laughs> we are fun. <laughs> I can go into the next one. So like my favorite um, mental health campaign is probably like the better together games that we usually do. So even being able to do that for the past year so usually like one night a year we like the whole athletic department comes together and we have like both like mental health related and non-mental health related like stations around our field house and like it's so much fun to like get like the whole athletic department together because that doesn't happen very often at a big school and like to all be in the same building together and just having fun um, we usually have like a family feud that's like mental health related, but then we also have like dodgeball at the end. Like it's so much fun. And I think it's events like those, even though like we're not like specifically talking about like breaking the stigma and stuff like that. I think by being there, that's what we're doing. And like, we have so much fun. Like it's like the best night of the year for athletics. Like it's really good. That's definitely my favorite initiative that we do. And that's, and that's amazing because as a community, as athlete, like we're coming together, we're getting more comfortable with being around each other, whether or not you're reaching out to the other teams or not, or you're staying within your own team. Like it's team bonding 
maybe you're feeling closer to a certain teammate, you get a chance to like be on a dodgeball team with someone that mm -hmm. maybe you don't get to talk to enough and, and knowing that there are other people there, whether or not uh, they're on your team or not, that that's comforting. And, you know, maybe it's not direct like correlation to mental health or something like that, but it's creating community and it's creating belonging, which I think, mm -hmm. you know, maybe some people struggle with. So I think that, that setup that you guys have is really good for creating community and destigmatizing it and just making it into a chill thing. You know, let's just play mm -hmm. some dodgeball. Let's play some family feud. It's, it doesn't have to be this in depth, uh, you know, super serious talk that you're with a, a counselor or, or, or you're with something. I mean, I, I go to therapy every other week. <laughs> like, yeah, I support therapy, but you know, like it, um, it doesn't have to be this super serious thing. It, it can be something fun and interesting and something you do together with a team mm -hmm. people that you love and people that you feel comfortable with. And that, and that's just the first step of, you know, feeling comfortable with yourself and, and where you're at. Yeah. And I think too, like athletes, like we are so competitive, like, we really are. So oh. to, like put a bunch of people that like we don't play on the same te team together on one side of the dodgeball pit. Like, like we like we will just combine like all forces to make sure that we win no matter who is on our team. Like I could be sitting next to like a few football players, a few soccer players, and like my little summer self that cannot throw a ball. Like, like we we're, we're going at it. Like we're like we're gonna win this. So I think it's just really good bonding overall. Uh, so I have a couple questions for you. Um, so since NJIT joined the conference this year, um, student athletes from NJIT have been engaged in America East Better Together initiatives. Can you talk about how you and your peers focus on student athlete mental health on campus? So mental health has been something that we are, you know, dipping our toe in. Since I've come to NJIT, mental health was not ever really talked about that much. In uh, previous campaigns, we've done like a 12 hour, 24 hour mental health relay. And we partnered with CCAPS, which is our program that we have on campus uh, for the entire student body. Um, that's like our counseling services. Um, but I mean, we, we raised some money for like some organizations and, you know, we had some games set out and, and stuff, but nothing really like in depth in practice. But I'm very excited to to say that we're just, we're testing out um, a mental health like service this summer, an app. I don't know if I'm supposed to say or not, like what it is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but a couple of teams are beta testing this app that is a combination of like um, meditation, uh, mental health resources, career counseling, um, nutrition, uh, money management. Like it is an app all in one, and. I'm really excited to try it because my team is one of the ones that gets to try it. <laughs> um, but we're, we're trying that app out and hopefully, you know, like it goes well and then that app can be implemented upon all of the teams. Um, we also are looking into getting like a, a full-time sports psychologist, I believe, or, you know, like one, one that is more readily available to us since we don't have one, a specific sports psychologist on campus. Um, mm -hmm. Some teams have had interactions with one that, that we used to bring around, and that was, like, an amazing experience because she was, like, the bomb. Um, but anyways, I'm digressing. Um, the, <laughs> the current thing that we're doing on campus, basically, is just, like, trying to uh, – we're trying to amplify within SAC to, like, reach out. That I mean, that's, like, our message that we've been trying to do with with the pandemic and everything – a lot of our activities were cut short. So we sadly haven't gotten to have a red respect night or, you know, mental health campaign, anything like that. However, we have been trying to amplify the, uh, the message of reaching out to whether it's a SAC e-board member, a SAC member, a teammate or whatnot, just like knowing that you're not alone and just trying to get that message out there. Um, if, if you need to ask for help, providing the resources for that, um, in our mental health campaign, well, the video project that we did in the fall, like all of us, um, we included all of the resources that were available on campus, such as the athletic trainers, um, CCAPs, you know, all of those good places, um, some counseling services within Newark. Um, but yeah, that's, I mean, 
it's not much in practice. <laughs> I know I was talking about putting things in practice earlier, but, um, but that's like kind of what's on the horizon for us. We're still trying to like get into that. That's mental health is something that I'm very passionate about. That's why I'm on mm -hmm. this. <laughs> that's why I'm on this Instagram live. <laughs> um, but, but I'm, I'm hoping to take a cue from, from you guys. Cause it seems like you guys have, a lot of really fun activities that I think that we could implement at our campus too. What about, what about you guys? We, most of our stuff is done through America East. Like we kind of take um, their initiatives and kind of like we follow their initiative and then kind of morph it into our own at the same time. Um, but right now, like our biggest thing is like our better together week at the end of April was a really huge success. Obviously with COVID, we kind of had to like change like kind of our approach to it um, just because we didn't want to focus on topics um, that were hard for people to, to kind of cope with when you're isolated. So we kind of wanted to make it a little more fun, a little more lighthearted. Right. Um, and I think it's definitely sucks not having like our better together night like we usually do. But I think being in um, isolation and everything and having to do everything remotely meant that like we could kind of like get like a new perspective on things and kind of see like, okay, like, what do our athletes need right now versus like what does this sounds weird but like what does our athletes need versus like what society needs because I think athletes they have so much pressure on ourselves to kind of be this like perfect student athlete and it kind of just made us realize like okay let's let's focus on keeping our athletes um, mentally healthy during all of this and making sure that they have the resources that they need to get through this because by not participating in athletics, like we do lose up like a little part of our identity. Like I think anyone that has had their sport taken away from them at some point can definitely say that like, you don't really know what to do with yourself. So we really focused on just like making sure that athletes still felt connected with the athletic department and with SAC and just fo focusing on like ways to stay like mentally healthy. That's awesome. Yeah. I mean, Sadly, we weren't really able to do too much of a mental health week. Um, but at our, our previous SAC meeting, it happened right before um, mental health week. All of us came in and usually like we're a pretty chipper group, but we all just sat there and we're staring at the camera mm -hmm. and see and like almost feel the burnout from this entire year, from everything that we've we've gone through. I'm so proud of my like fellow Highlanders. We've been so strong throughout this whole entire process. And I'm so in awe and have immense respect for all of our teams that have like gotten through. But you can see like how much that takes a toll on people and our and our reps who are doing a wonderful job at communicating information and and, and doing the jobs that reps do. Just sitting there so burnt out. And that's when we knew like that was not the time to do some grand gesture for mental health week. Like what our athletes need is a break and a nap. And yeah. <laughs> so, so the best decision was just to do a social media campaign where we were providing resources. We did some fun, like gift things, you know, like post your ideal um, uh, off day, like something like that. Just, to get it out there to to do something and we had a trip and we had a disney trivia night so you know like it was right before the finals so it was something to blow off a little bit of steam on the last day of classes and just super chill and just knowing that we're not alone and that there you know there there's something outside of, of sports you know your off day what do you do besides sports <laughs> what what is you and your like most broken not broken down but you know like most comfortable state like what's important to you and, and asking those mm -hmm. questions well, I think is really important yeah that's I like the the Disney trivia idea I might steal that for next year <laughs> you Disney trivia well trivia in general trivia nights has has been one of our most like popular and successful uh initiatives we thought wow what are we going to do we're, we're, we're not going to be able to do anything as like event wise throughout the entire year I was wrong. We did virtual trivia almost every single month. I think we missed one month and it was a hit. Like it, it was so much fun. We did sports trivia. We did black history month. I think we did a little bit of like women's history. 
Disney, uh, did we do music? Uh, oh, we did Christmas. We did like holiday trivia. It is an amazing thing. It, it was so fun. And like the teams get competitive. So, mm -hmm. you know, as athletes, it's, it's nice that we get to compete, even if it's not sports. That sounds like so much fun. <laughs> um, okay, I have one more question. Um, what encourages, encourages you most about having a conference and conference members to be so involved and engaged in student athlete mental health? Sorry, I was paused. Cause <laughs> <laughs> the I'll read it again. Um, what encourage, encourages you most about having a conference and conference members be so involved and engaged in student athlete mental health? It. Hmm. How do I want to say this? It makes me feel like, you know, we're we're doing something, and it's not just mm -hmm. me, and it's not just. You know, maybe our school is saying, oh, this is important, but I don't think anybody else thinks it's important. Like, do other people feel like this? You don't feel so insular. If you have an army of thousands of student athletes demanding respect for your own mind, your health, your body, everything, mm -hmm. it, it is so empowering to, like, see so many people rally around protecting, protecting ourselves, protecting our friends and and voicing how how we feel <laughs> for once because it's like you were saying you, sometimes we're expected to just play our sport and be kind of perfect have the good grades you know do well on the court or the field or the track wherever you are and then you know like also happen to have a social life <laughs> <laughs> so um it, it is it is really really encouraging just the sheer number of people and the sheer excitement um around this this area um i don't know like this <laughs> i don't know if this no, no. answers the question but like it is just like so dumbfounding to like to be a part of a conference that is so committed and focused from the top down from commissioner amy to you know to a random kid on a random team like it it really is a focus and i'm so excited to see where we can go with it yeah i'm glad you guys are with us <laughs> yeah so i think okay so the question um is talking about um, uh ae voices mm -hmm. um can you talk about the process of uh, writing your piece and and what is ae voices maybe for uh, for people who don't know about it so America's Voices is a platform for student athletes to share their experiences with mental health. Um, so there have been so like we've had athletes and coaches and everyone participate in this and it's been like amazing to read other people's stories and I think it kind of helps to also realize you're not alone in this. Like um, reading other people's stories that kind of have like similar, so, uh, I cannot speak today, similar, I really cannot get it out, similarities. Um, to mine, I think it's kind of like, wow, like I'm not the only student athlete that struggles with this. Um, so writing mine, I'm going to be honest, I kind of just stared at the blank word doc for like hours. Like I was like, how do I sum up my life in like a short essay? Like I can't do that. Like I'm, I was 20 when I wrote it. I was like, the 20 years in one page, like that's not, that's not going to happen. Like, no, like I think I like just put the TV on and then just stared at the word doc. I got through like a whole season of Criminal, criminal Minds for, by the time I started it. As you should. Um, but yeah, right? Not not need to study or anything. Um, so one, kind of once I got going, I kind of just, like, picked a point. I was like, okay, you're going to start here, and you can either work forwards or backwards. Like, let's just go with it. And I realized that, like, kind of once I started writing, that it just kind of kept going. And I read back to it, and I was like, wow, this is gibberish. Like, we're going to have to go back and edit this. But, like, it kind of – what was important to me and what I felt was important, like, my recovery – kind of like came out on the piece of paper that that makes sense so it was definitely harder to write it than it was to share it just because you kind of want to like for me like I'm such a perfectionist I was like this essay has to be perfect and I was like Maggie like stop like this isn't some like English paper to graduate college like you're just writing about your, it's like writing a journal like just writing about your life this is raw like, kind of you and this is yeah. your yeah, I read it so many times and I was like, just just email it. Just Maggie, just 
email it. It'll be fine. Um, so yeah, and I'm writing sure the process. Read it so many times and said, "Wow, I am not the only one." Mm -hmm. And I'm sure yeah. that people uh, benefited so much from you bravely sharing your story. It's, I haven't read it yet. <sighs> didn't know that you wrote one so I will you know as soon as we're off with this I will go and read it so I'm very excited <laughs> now but I'm sure that people m read your essay multiple times and like you know maybe, maybe they don't have the courage to put it down on paper but you were showing them that you can and, and even if you don't want to write it you know maybe you can write it and post it online maybe you can write it in a journal and, and maybe mm -hmm. so with whatever is going on in their life yeah, I think it's a really good platform for people to kind of start the process. And everyone's in a different place with their mental health. Like, there are some people that definitely just don't feel comfortable or they feel like they're not in a place that they're ready to share that story. And that's totally fine. Um, totally. Yeah. And but I think this um, AE Voices kind of gives kind of pe like, gives people hope to be like, okay, like, I want to get to a point where I can share my story and like they have people that they can kind of go okay well these like this is how they kind of managed and coped and maybe I can incorporate some of these into my um into my own recovery and I don't know everyone's different but I think reading each person's story I hope like even if it's like it changes one person's perspective on mental health like I feel like we've accomplished something oh for sure and it's not like it's some distant conference or something like that these are people that could be our teammates could be our competitors across the net you know mm -hmm. <laughs> these are people that we are going to see and we're going to you know hopefully meet in person <laughs> at some point it, it's not so like distant like this is our conference these are our people that are sharing their stories and and i think there's a lot of beauty in that mm -hmm. for students at your school what re what resources uh, do you have to offer or do you want to share I think our best resources are really our athletic trainers and our coaches just because um, everyone is different and everyone kind of needs like a different path in terms of like what they're dealing with with their mental health so our athletic trainers and coaches are really good at kind of like listening, talking, like whatever you need, and then kind of directing you to get the right help that you need. Like our counseling center on campus is really good. And they'll send um, a lot of people off campus too, um, just depending on what they need. But they're also like just really good. Like sometimes I walk in there and I just like word vomit everything. And they're like, okay. <laughs> and first and they're like, okay, like how do we handle this? Like, so I think they're kind of just like that really good, like first person, like response um, for people to go to and then from there we have we have quite a few resources on campus um, like our student wellness center and everything that are always there to help people title nine as well um, cover more than um, what everyone just thinks they cover they have a lot of mental health stuff too so I think just honestly like our coaches and athletic trainers really kind of sit and help and listen and then they direct us to where they where we need to go to get help Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I also would like to add that our women's center uh, also has a lot of really, really great resources at NJIT, um, counseling services, um, career services as well, like all, you know, all under the sun, uh, stuff, mm -hmm. mental wellness and like mental health. So the Murray Center at NJIT. <laughs> 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 Gotta give a shout out. They're really, yeah. they're really there. They always have snacks too. <laughs> I don't know if they do, but but our training room also always has snacks as well. <laughs> maybe it's a maybe it's a athletic trainer thing. Yeah, I I love the snacks in the athletic training room. 